giving posterior superior alveolar nerve block after spray it will be the needle will go at 45 degrees to the second molar okay just beyond the zygomatic mattress yes okay slowly slowly yes you have to press immediately because the plexus there might bleed although these are self aspirating syringes but if you don't have if you are working with a conventional syringe then you have to aspirate there before plunging in the local anesthesia second point is that always press it beyond beneath the zygomatic buttress so that in case there is any bleeding it will be stopped there only and the hematoma formation will be stopped to remove the third molar we'll have to give a gp block as well greater palatine block 